Okay, so after I was done at Barnes and Nobles, I already got my book right, so I was at Target. I was looking through the book section. I saw the Lil Nas X children's book. I saw some other books I liked, uh, Outsiders. Um, they had a couple of other kids' books, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, all that stuff. But there was this one book that caught my eye. It was called Later by Stephen King. And I've never read a Stephen King book before, but I had heard about this book. I actually watched his interview on YouTube where he was talking about this book and how he grew up like uh, reading like pulp uh, books. And um, he made a pulp book called Later. And I didn't really think much of that interview, but then I saw this book and I just loved the cover. It has like uh, the policewoman, the little kid, um, big name in white letters, so you know it's Stephen King, uh, and all this stuff. So, oh yeah, and also got it off 20% from Target. Oh wait, hold on. I think my dog wants to come back inside. Bella! Oh, look at you, Bella. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi to everyone? Say hi, Bella. Say hi. Yes. There you go. Alright, so where was I? Oh yeah, I really like the cover of the book. It has like this cool 70s kind of look to it. And so I thought, you know what? I should try it out. I've not read a Stephen King book before, but I've seen some of them. They look really long. Like, I think it is like, what, a thousand pages or something? So... I've never really been attracted to them because of, I'm just scared to read big books, honestly. Like, they're just, like, if it's over, like, 500 pages, it's just too long for me. And I know that's, I know that's super cool, cool because I'm reading uh, The Fountainhead by, by Ayn Rand, and that's, like, 600 pages long. But, you know, books just don't need to be a thousand pages, in my opinion. But I don't know. I never read the book. Uh, it could be, every page could be important, but I don't know, just... Just limited to like 300 or 400 pages, honestly. But anyway, I digress. So I picked up this book and I started reading it. Uh, I started reading it like uh, Wednesday, Thursday, around there. And I'm a little over halfway done. You can see my bookmark here. I'm a little over halfway done. I have like 80 more pages to read. Um, I'm probably going to finish it this week. But I've just been really enjoying it. Um, and I know what you're going to say. Josh, why didn't you just wait until you're done reading it to give us a review? Well, uh, I'll probably still do a review and talk about what I liked about what I didn't like. But um, so far, the book is pretty cool. Um, it's about like this kid. He can see ghosts and he has like this uh, police officer friend and they go around solving crimes together. It's it's pretty interesting. A lot. Of, I read a lot of reviews that said it was kind of cliche, which, yeah, I guess I can understand a kid that can see ghosts. That's from The Shining, right? Another Stephen King book. And even in chapter two, in chapter two, he references The Shining too. Uh, the main character says, I see dead people, which is a line from The Shining. <laughs> so Stephen King is self-aware. He's self-aware. Uh, even later in the book, he references uh, Shawshank Redemption, which if you don't know, that's another Stephen King book that he wrote. Well, obviously it's a Stephen King book, right? But so far, I've really been enjoying it. It's a really short read. Um, I guess not really short, but it's a short read compared to what I'm reading now. Uh, the Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. That book is a huge epic. But um, but um, it's easy to read. Um, it's I would say it's about middle school level. Uh, you can see some of the pages here. The font is nice and big. I'm not squinting reading it. Uh, and yes, I did smell the book. It smelled like Target. Go figure. And... The, um, yeah, no pictures, all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, the chapters are really short, too. Like, some of the chapters are like a page long. Look at this. You can see chapter 34 and chapter 35 right here. Super short chapter. So, honestly, it just makes it like a breeze to read through. Uh, I read it on my break at work, and I have a 30-minute break, and I'm already done, like, with, what, 20, 30 pages by then. So, really quick read. Um... <clears throat> I'm not sure how Stephen King usually writes, but this writing I found is pretty accessible. Like, you could have like zero, well, I guess not zero reading experience, but you could not, but 
if you graduate high school, you haven't read a book for like what five years, and you pick this up, you you would have a pretty easy time reading it. Um, it's not like Ayn Rand or like uh, H.P. Lovecraft where the writing is just like really complicated and just kind of it's hard to pick up sometimes, but it's really accessible. Like if you just want to pick up a book and read, this is your book. There's not that many big words in it. Like I said, it's pretty accessible if you have a uh, lower um, reading level, and I have, I'm having a lot of fun reading it. Um, is it cliche? Yeah, a little bit. Kid that can see ghosts, uh, police officers. Uh, it is kind of cliche, but you know, it's still a fun little book. Um, <clears throat> Stephen King has also has some other books from the the hard case crime um, publications. He has Joyland, which um, I'm kind of interested in, and Colorado Kid. Uh, you can see them on the back of the book. So. I don't want to say too much about the story because I'm not done with it and I don't want to spoil it. Um, I'll have a separate video where I talk about the spoilers and all that fun stuff for anyone who doesn't want to read it um, or is already finished reading it. You can watch that video. But this video is just more of like a, uh, it's more of a first impressions video, but it's not really a first impressions if I'm like halfway through it, right? So uh, I guess you could say it's kind of a halfway impressions. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been reading this book, um, having a lot of fun with it. Um, there are some really interesting concepts where, like I said, I haven't, I'm not a huge fan of The Shining. I do like the Stanley Kubrick movie, but I heard that um, the book is vastly different. So uh, I'm not sure if he repeats the cliches. This might even, this could be connected to um, The Shining for all I know. Um, but uh, I don't know, it could be kid that sees ghosts, uh, I see dead people, like, it, it could connect, right? But I think Stephen King doesn't have, like, a universe. I think, like, all his books are, like, set, like, set, and, like, are just, like, by themselves, right? I don't think all their books, I don't think he has, like, a whole universe that connects, but I don't know. Like I said, this is my first Stephen King book, so I'm new to Stephen King. Um, so I gotta say, um, so yeah, check out for that review. Uh, first impressions of the book, easy read. Love the cover. <clears throat> Premise is kind of cool. Mixing horror with um, crime. Um, I've always been a sucker for that. Um, yeah. I think that's all I gotta say. Alright. Bye.